So the relationship between the brain and the heart, um, we haven't had time to discuss, but in the SA node, sinuatrial node, it receives nervous signals from the heart, which it has its own nerve supply, both sympathetic and parasympathetic vagus and sympathetic nervous system. And um, it will also receive hormonal signals that are, are released systemically. So you, if you're becoming more nervous, more agitated, then the nervous signals will get your heart rate faster. So you can have some intellectual signal, which you're unaware of usually, which is making you more tense, have a tachycardia. Um, or if you have, um, let's say, a clown suddenly runs into the room to read the newspapers today, and we all feel terribly, terribly nervous and start running away. We have a flight or fight reaction, which is pure adrenaline being released. Your pulse rate goes flying up. You constrict all your peripheral muscles. You force blood to return back to your heart so you're able to generate a bigger cardiac output at a faster rate. So you can suddenly increase the number of liters being pumped around in a smaller space making sure your brain works. So this is hormonal and nervous, and the nervous system can be either active or passive, so you don't know that it's going to happen. So that's the connection. It's actually directly connected by a nervous system and by hormonal release from uh, the pituitary gland and elsewhere.